Welcome back, crew, to the next Dotson installment, I guess you can say. As you saw in our first Dotson video, we pulled up the dash, so now we're going to actually go through, clean it up, get it ready to go back in the car. Pluses for the dash, um, there's no cracks, everything is nice and clean, uh, no sun damage on there. All the gauges seem to be working except for the clock, if you want to consider the clock a gauge, but it is not functional. Okay, a couple things that need some attention are the two, um, well, the tachometer and the, the speed up speedometer. Uh, there's some rust building up in the bottom of them, and the bolt fuel gauge. It's pretty uh, much destroyed. It's pretty much destroyed. There's, there's rust on it. It's not going to get fixed. It still works. It works, but we want to clean everything up yeah. and get it good. Um, another thing that needs attention is there's some rust on the actual frame of the dash in the back here. Um, and there is a couple wires that need some attention and there is going to be some custom wiring going on back here. Um, kill switch is installed. Uh, we're going to put a, a nice paneling here to relocate at the front here yeah. at the front to relocate things like the headlights, the wipers, all stuff like that. That way the column looks nice and clean. Push button start. You know, maybe push button, push button start. start. Yeah, we <laughs> might install push button start, but that's something that'll be installed after the dash is in. Yeah. Um, the kill switch Another thing that we have to um, put some attention towards is these two little um, switches up, I guess they're switches, uh, that turn on the dash lights and the trip reset. They seem to be seized, so we're going to have to go through and take a look at that. If it's actually the linkage that is causing the problem or if it's the actual gauge itself that is broken. So now let's, uh, let's just bust this thing open and see what we got going on. Let's do it. Alright, so these are new replacement gauges because as you just saw, those other face plates for the Speedo tack and the voltage and fuel were all destroyed. We ended up managing to find some JDM gauges. So these are in kilometers and there's no rust anywhere. It's amazing how mint these are. And this gauge right here, we're not sure how the wiring is going to be because mine says voltage up at the top and this one as you can see says amperage so the wiring back here might be a little bit different but we'll take you guys through and ho hopefully everything comes out good all right guys so we're going to start off by taking out this uh amperage slash um fuel gauge well this one's actually the volt one and we want to make sure that this is going to be able to mount up we're hoping it's just plug and play but if there is other wiring that's going to be involved we're gonna have to look into it. So it looks like there's just this one Phillips screw that holds on the bracket that holds the um, gauge in. So we're gonna remove that. That's a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> uh, it looks like that just comes out. Yeah, it frees it right up. So huh. this is the wiring right here for it. The connector appears to be close. But the, the wire colors are kind of off in my head. They yeah. seem a little bit different, but... So there's our connector. And then there's another connector here. Okay, so we have our two gauges. This is our new one that we bought. And this one here is the one that we took out of the car, the one that says volts. So the only thing we noticed is that the connectors at the back, um, the main large connector appears to be the same or very similar. Um, so we're hoping that that's just going to be a quick bolt in or just connection, but uh, the other connector where the voltage is doing its reading is obviously very different. We got one wire here and we got three wire connector. But one thing we did notice is that this green wire with the white tracer is the same as on our old one. So we're gonna try and do some custom wiring and see if that works. You know, we can only hope, but uh, let's give it a try and see if this guy bolts in. Okay, this is our collection of tools and supplies that we're going to be using to refurbish the wiring and the dash. We got some needle nose pliers, cutters, strippers, 
some zip ties, some button connectors, shrink tubing, and if necessary, we got some electrical tape. I'm not really a big fan of electrical tape, but I have it just in case. All right, so in our effort to remove the gauges, we basically had to dismantle the entire dash. I don't know if we're doing this right, but from what we saw, nothing was really coming apart the way we wanted to. So we took the wiring out, we removed the frame out of the dash. There's the frame there. And all the gauges and the glove box and all the accessories and whatnot. So now we're gonna try and take these two gauges out. Oh, and there it is. So that That's thing that Anthony's holding is the cover, I guess. Yeah. And this is. This looks to be built into it. Oh, the the cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter. So, you know, it might not be a bad idea to have a cigarette lighter. That way, you can run like accessories and shit. Yeah. So old gauges, new gauges, with everything that we took out. And now it's time to see how these new gauges to see how they fit. Oh my god, which one was on which side? Go speedo then tack. Yeah, speedo was first. <laughs> <laughs> well we could oh. we could put it differently if you really wanted to, but the harness might not harness wire up. Okay, so it looks like connectors are the same, but there's extra pins, so extra two, wiring. Two extra wires on the new one. And it looks like it's the green and red and a black wire. Whoa. Which appears to go to this unit. Does mine have that unit? The one that we the old one that we took out? No. So we don't even know what that unit's for. Could be extra JDM power maybe. Let's just go with that. Maybe that light on the bottom, the brake light. Mine has a brake light. Oh, yours has a brake light too. Yeah. You know what? I think it'll work fine. We'll plug it in and we'll see what happens. There's only one way to really find out in this case. So. Yeah, just put it in and see what happens. As you can see, we got the speedometer in and we got the tack ready to go in. They actually have to go in down through this way. Through what the we, back. Yeah, through the back. Um, so what we did as well is we took off this cover, little black cover, and took out the lens there the lens I guess you can say and we cleaned it up put some plastic polish on there just to make sure it was all nice and clean put them all back together and now we're just finishing off by putting the tack in so let's see how smooth this one goes There you go. It's a little uh, tight in there, but it's the only way we managed to get anything working. Yeah. And once you bolt it in, it'll sit in the proper yeah, place. Yeah, it'll set itself where it's supposed like to stay. Like angle and sh Yeah. But, but there we go. at least they're in. They're not falling out. Yeah, because well, as you just saw, they're really snug. But So we ended up wiring. We wired this connector into this gauge, the new gauge. And the two wires that were unnecessary, we just we just blocked them off. Just blocked them off with some shrink tubing so that there's no issues. So it's basically just disconnected. So hopefully safely. the amperage actually shows up. So we'll see. This this connector we know plugs in and works, so I'm fairly confident that the fuel gauge is going to work. It's just the amperage we're not 100%. Eh, hopefully uh, all goes well. All right, so the two gauges are in. They look so much better than before, and that's pretty much all we've got done so far. So now we're going to go through, clean up the actual 
I guess you can say the frame of the cage for the dash. Paint it. And that's it for now. Alright guys, so that's the end of the first part of our Datsun dash restoration. Um, as you saw, we cleaned up the frame, the steel frame of the dash, we disassembled the dash, we cleaned up the new JDM gauges for it, and we rewired the new amp slash fuel gauge for the dash. Coming up in the next video, we're going to wrap up everything, hopefully get the custom switches and the custom panel that we talked about in the beginning of this video. And that's it. Stay tuned. Stay classy, crew.